Hey, yo. Hey, man. Big shit in the building right now, man. Free Wi-Fi music. My name is Jay Plaza. The one and only. You can't clone me. Daddy De Niro. And your boy, The Rift. For real. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, and we live right now, you know what I'm saying? We just dropped the album. You can catch that on all streaming platforms. Free Wi-Fi, Connected. Make sure y'all check that out, all right? Bang, 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 bang. The debut album just dropped, Connected. Yes, sir. And, man, those 12 tracks are hot. Yeah, yeah, let, let, yeah. Let's take me into the studio. Tell me what it's been like to create this. I know there's multiple producers. Aside from Angelo, there's so many other producers that were a part of it. So what was that like for you guys? Man, it's been like a kind of a combination of everything, just kind of going in there vibing off each other's vibes, you know what I'm saying? We kind of just roll with whatever the best sound is, you know what I'm saying? And we just kind of just get in there and just vibe with each other. It's kind of different types of things that we can do. Whatever we feeling, and we just go with the best sounds, man. So right now, you know, like last year was the first year that we ever really came together, and we built that relationship. So this next year is about to be crazy too, but y'all need to definitely listen to that album. Ego was kind of like the, the, the first, the track that, got you guys together um obviously that track although it was a, a, a hit you know that track kind of taught you guys a lot um in regards to being in the studio together not being solo artists anymore um you know now that the debut album is out how much do you feel you guys have grown in in the music industry as a group album two is going to be completely different than album one you know uh we talk about it all the time when we first came in here we were just learning each other yeah. you know i didn't really know how he recorded his recording process. We're just vibing off of each other. Lay the verse down, you know, best hook, that's the song. But now, our whole recording process is different. So you're gonna be expecting something completely different. What's the writing process like for you guys when you guys get together since we have three solo artists combined to one? Before we was writing separately, but now a lot, like pretty much everything we do now, we all write together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We all put our heads together and just come up with the best track, the best music, the best song that we could try to put out, you know what I'm saying? So. That's pretty much like the creative process that we go through. Aside from Angelo, there's like six, seven, eight other producers that were on this record. Um, out of all those producers, like which one do you guys feel challenged you the most in the studio and creating the product that you did today? I don't think any any of it was a challenge, um, to be honest. Uh, we just said, yo, who got the beats? Send us beats. And they just sent us beats. And we just played it and we just vibed right there on the spot. Boom. And it just happened. You know what I'm saying? It was like, it wasn't really like a super challenge. But now we're going to challenge ourselves to like start. Yeah, we're, we want to mix producer sounds together. Like we want to like switch it up a lot and just like just all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, it's going to be crazy. Yeah, man. Boom. What else, you know, can, can the fans, the audience expect from, you know, your music? What is, you know, free Wi-Fi all about? What, why did you guys want to get together and create the music that you do today? Well, we're different, you know what I'm saying? Like, the best part about it is we're all a group. We all have a different sound individually. If you, if you, if you were to hear a solo project from me, it would sound nothing like uh, a project from free Wi-Fi. Right. So just, I just want people to understand, like, we're three different artists bringing a completely new sound. I'm curious, like, you know, that first time that you guys got together in the studio, like, what was that vibe like? Because again, like you mentioned, like it's three different artists. Um, so you have your sound, you have your sound, you have your sound. So how did you guys kind of mesh it all together to, to create this product? That's basically just by, vibing. yeah, over and over again, yeah. vibing over and over again. And then you learn about each other. Then you learn what creative processes, you know, cause like we all got our ways of doing things, but over time it's just that growth and that's how we learn about each other and that's how we get better and tighter at what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? Connected, um, which is out now if you guys haven't heard it yet. Um, those 12 tracks, what was it about those 12 tracks that, you know, you guys wanted those to be the first listen of, of you guys? That was the first, like, music that we, like, ever made together. And that's how we connected, you know what I'm saying, with this music stuff. Um, and we just want everybody else to, you know, connect with it. But, yeah, man, we just we just vibed out on the whole thing and just, like, yo, this track, this track is really just, like, a playlist of, like, just dope-ass tracks, you know what I'm saying? Next album, we want to have, like, uh, you know, something that we can, like, a subject, you know what I'm saying, and just focus on that and just, like, you know, build from that. It kind of sounds like you guys are already ready for that second album, though. Is that... Yeah. Are you guys just writing all the time? Even if something drops, you guys are ready for something else. We always constantly creating, man. It's our life. Exactly. So. Mm -hmm. I feel like we hungry. We hungry. We got a lot to prove. You know what I'm saying? So we always on it all the time, 24-7. You guys are still a fresh new group. 
But 2017 seemed like you guys were all over the place, especially the shows. The, the you know the audience changed drastically. You know, 2017 was a big year for you guys. What can we expect for 2018? And you know, as as your lives kind of change while you guys are being in front of the spotlight, how do you guys take that all in? I mean, it's just a day by day process, man. It's just right now everything is growing fast, but it's subtle because it's constant, it's consistent. So by the time something crazy happened, we already used to it because we already looking towards what what we what we already focused on. So it's not like we really kind of, oh, you know, you can't get distracted. So we kind of just focus right now. I mean, what to bring, mm -hmm. and what to bring. Yeah, just keep going. <laughs> you know what I mean, I thought she was reading through the mic. My bad. Yeah, but yeah, we gonna bring it, man. Yeah. We just want everybody to get connected with us, man, and just stay in tune, man, and get logged in with us, man. So that's what we're trying to do. What's a live show like? Because, I mean, what I've seen on your recaps, man, looks like a lot of fun. Uh, but w what really goes into your live show? A live show? Our live shows are lit. But um, now we're trying to get more professional with it. Instead of doing the same old just hop around on stage rapping lyrics, we want to actually make performance and perform for the audience. So it's got to be a movie, you know? So that's what we're working on now. But it's lit. I was crowd surfing the other day. We throw in water, we live. So back to, the, you know, trying to make a movie. You guys are really involved with, with the whole performance, the behind the scenes of your performances as well. Is that something you guys want to continue doing in your career? We want that total creative control, man. That's what it's about. I mean, we want people to see the passion of what we put into this. You know what I'm saying? We putting everything, in our minds and our hearts and our souls into this. So we want people to feel that uh, when we give them our product, give them our music, give them our passion. You know what I'm saying?